Hi my little nuggets, it's Nikki here again today. I thought I'd do my first time tag um, today. It's a tag that's been going around YouTube for quite a while now. Um, and I just thought I'd give it a go. I've got all the questions here on my iPhone. Um, so let's get started. First question is, do you still talk to your first love? Um, and the answer to that is a definite no. I went out with my first boyfriend, um, Phil, when I was 16 to when I was 19. So many, many years ago now. Um, I split up with him for the simple reason that he got his hair cut and I didn't like it. I know that's awful, but um, that was the reason I split up with him. What was your first job? My first job was at a hairdresser's um, near where I work. I did that for about a month and hated it. Um, I basically did you know, the brushing up, making tea, washing hair. Um, definitely wasn't the job for me, so that was my first job. What was your first car? My first car was a Renault Clio um, 1.8 diesel. Um, that I got when I passed, well I actually got before I passed my test, uh, I, I think I was 31, 32 when I passed my test, so it was quite late um, in passing it, um, it took me four attempts to pass my test, um, so yeah, you know, it, it did take quite a while to pass it, but yeah, who was the first person you text today? Who's the first person to text you today? Uh, the first person to text me today was my boyfriend, Neil. Um, usually I'll text him, good morning first. Um, no, actually, he, he actually, I don't lie, he texts me first this morning to say good morning and I text him back. Usually I text him first and then he texts me. Um, who was the first person you thought of this morning? The first person I always tend to think of when I wake up is my boyfriend, Neil. Who was your first teacher? Um, my first primary school teacher was a lady called Mrs Maddox when I was in um, reception class at primary school and to be honest with you she was a complete bitch. A lot of people have fond memories of the first reception teacher um, being sweet and lovely but I don't recall her being sweet and lovely. I think she was an absolute cow but anyway. <laughs> Where did you go on your first rise on an airplane? Somewhere in Spain. I can't really remember that much to be honest with you. So somewhere in Spain, I think it was about 15, 16. <laughs> um, who's your best friend and do you still talk? Uh, who's your first best friend and do you, do you still talk? Um, to be honest with you, I haven't really had a best friend. Um, which sounds quite sad, but it's the truth, so we move on from that. Whose wedding were you in the first time? To be honest with you, I haven't really been to other people's um, weddings. <coughs> Excuse me, um, through my life, my first video, first video, the, my first wedding that I was in was probably my own, um, when I got married to my now ex-husband um, and I was 26, 27 when we got married so that was the first wedding that I was actually in it was my own um, what was the first thing you did this morning? Um, basically brushed my teeth um, that was the first thing I did what was the first concert you ever went to? My first concert was when I was 16 and it was a Bon Jovi concert at Wembley Stadium. Um, I'm a huge Bon Jovi fan. I'm a huge John Bon Jovi fan. I think he's absolutely just beautiful. And I've um, basically been obsessed with him since I was 16. So I'm now 37, so that's like 21 years. I had to do a bit of maths there, as you can tell. Me, you know, my brain's hurt now. Um, so I've been obsessed with him for about 21 years. I think he's beautiful. Um, 
my first cut, I absolutely adored it. I remember um, being literally about two people. I was the second person on front of there was somebody in front of me. And one thing that I always remember, just to go off on a little tangent, is there was a girl standing next to me when the support bands were on. Um, I think it was Thunder and somebody else. And she actually said to me, um, I'll... I'm not staying for, for to watch Bon Jovi because, you know, I only want to see the support bands. Um, and I didn't have a camera. And she said, well, give me your address and I'll take some pictures for you. So I was like, yeah, all right. So I gave her my address. And she actually sent me pictures through the post um, of um, the Bon Jovi concerts and great pictures of John and Richie. And it was one of them... Even to this day, one of them things that a complete stranger has done, an act, basically an act of kindness that has basically still touches me to this day. And you know, I never ever got a chance to say thank you to her. Um, I didn't. I couldn't even tell you her name, but I know that that's something that somebody did for me, and that's something that I was so amazed and so grateful for. Um, so just a bit of a tangent, but yeah, and I've been back to him about five times, so yeah, I am a huge fan. First broken bone, um, I think I broke my arm when I was about three, I fell down the stairs, um, and going on from that, I actually knocked my dad's front teeth, front tooth out, um, when I was sitting on his knee, and I think I, you know, elbowed him. I basically took his front tooth, tooth out, so yeah, so he wasn't happy. First piercing, I haven't got any piercings, my ears aren't even pierced. Um, some people are quite shocked when they find out this. It's something, yeah, that, yeah, I am a scaredy cat, I don't really particularly want the pain of getting it done. Um, I've coped with it for 37 years, and I think I can cope with it for another 37 more, so we're all right there. First foreign country you've gone to um, was probably um, France um, with my mum and my younger sister and my nan. Um, I couldn't particularly tell you where it was, but I do know it was France. First movie you remember seeing. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, it's not particularly the first movie because I think that's quite a difficult question to answer one of the first films of I can remember is used to be a small cinema where we used to live and I remember um, watching the first Batman on the the one with uh, well the one with Michael Keaton um, many many years ago so yeah when was your first detention I never ever got detention when I was in school, guys. Um, it just didn't happen. I was good at two shoes. I was wouldn't say booty of a goose. So for me, you know, that was a no. Who was your first roommate? Um, <laughs> I've never lived um with anyone else. I don't know. This is maybe I don't know if it's an American tag. Um, my first person I lived with was my ex husband, Peter. Um, we lived together as boyfriend and girlfriend before we got married. What was the first lesson you ever took? Um, that would be in, probably in primary school reception class. I'm sure I did whatever you, young kid does in reception class. I can't remember what you learned. I mean, I'm sure you learned something. Who was the first beauty? Who was the first person beauty related on YouTube you've ever watched? Um, my first person was All That Glitters 21, um, many, many years ago. Um, I still watch it, I'm subscribed to her channel. Um, I still love watching her. Um, and obviously, you know, she was the first one I ever watched and the first videos I ever saw, and it got me more and more into YouTube as well so that was my first time tag um i hope you've enjoyed this video i just thought i'd give it a little go um i shall love you and leave you and i shall see you all soon